Hello, this is WPI Press Center Daily Briefing. Today is Saturday, 20th of June, 2009. Uh, we'll be reviewing the news of the day um, that's coming out of Iran. And, um, and we uh, are here with Hamid Tadwai, leader of the Worker Communist Party of Iran, to see what his analysis of the situation is. Hamid Tadwai, welcome. Thank you. Uh, today we know that the uh, Islamic uh, regime, yes, following uh, Khamenei's uh, speech. speech yesterday or, uh, in Friday prayer, he threatened demonstrators and uh, threatened them with naked force and aggression, and he claimed that uh, the Islamic Republic is solid and asked people to stay at home and to stop the demonstration yeah. and protest. Um, this morning we've heard that from early hours of the morning we've had the security forces covering main streets and routes in, in, in Tehran mm -hmm. trying to intimidate people, plain clothes, Islamic thugs actually on the, were on the street earlier today. But we know later on in the morning when a lot of people have come out on day, or in different parts of Tehran, Azadi Square and surrounding the streets, uh, uh, um, students in Tehran University, they have actually created barricade uh, and have, uh, currently the news that we're hearing from the WPR press center, there are street battles going on yeah, uh, on the streets so many of Tehran. Uh, absolutely. What's your sort of general analysis of the situation and people's response to Khamenei's okay, That's what everybody expected, I think. I mean, especially after what uh, uh, Khamenei said yesterday, uh, it, it was very obvious that, that people would came out and this time against Khamenei himself, directly. Slogans today was, the to Khamenei. Uh, 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 up to yesterday, it was mainly uh, Ahmadinejad. Now it's Khamenei, and Khamenei means the whole system. Nobody does that. Yes. It is the whole system now. And people came out uh, in a scale uh, uh, almost as large as what was yesterday. But of course, it cannot be demonstration anymore because thugs are in the street everywhere. It's some sort of uh, uh, street fights now between uh, mainly youth and uh, young people and forces. And forces uh, are thugs now, as you said, plain colors. But uh, Pasdaran, which is some sort of army, Islamic army, is already there, still, but they don't do anything much. They are just... Uh, they haven't intervened at the moment. Yeah, yeah. They, are, they don't intervene, but it doesn't mean that they are not going to. But up to now, maybe this uh, regime thinks that, okay, with the talks we can get control of everywhere. In this case, we won't need to, uh, to involve uh, the Pasdaran, but still, they are there and they are ready. Mm, and uh, as far as we know, it's going on, uh, it, uh, and nobody's going home. People calling our uh, 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 TV channel, uh, urging each other, inviting each other to the streets. Yes. Everybody says we're going to stay there. We are not going to go uh, go home. And uh, so it's a, a very um, exciting situation for us. Yes. We can say because if people can do that today, and it finishes as it is, it means that. Uh, tomorrow we will have even more people in the street because people found out that, okay, uh, despite the fact that all the forces are in the street, they could go there, have their slogans, fight them, and uh, go on with the, uh, with the movement. So up to now, people have defied Khamenei, and up to now yeah. is a victory for people who are in the streets. Yeah. What Khamenei said, I saw in some, some news that uh, uh, that's the end of Khamenei, and it was right. Mm. I mean, it was obvious, as you said, right after the speech that he made yesterday, most of people said that's the end of Khamenei. Right. And what we, we are witnessing today in, in Tehran especially, and many other cities. Okay. Uh, you can watch um, the minute-by-minute minute updating of the news on WPI, Worker Communist Party of your blog, which we are updating every minute with the news that we receive, and uh, live uh, new channel TV which is in Farsi, which is constant uh, broadcasting in Iran. It's one of the few TV stations that are still operating. Um, Amitabh, can I just bring you back to the reaction of the uh, Obama and, mm. uh, in, in particular, uh, British Foreign Minister David Miliband um, to Khamenei's speech? It was important because earlier in the day, um, a few... Uh, last week, uh, John Simpson from BBC said that people, Western governments, prefer uh, Ahmadinejad. Uh, prefer Ahmadinejad to chaos that it's happening yeah. in Iran. Yeah. But what's your sort of reaction and what's your response to David Miliband, who who said actually he doesn't want to uh, turn the 
issue and a demonstration in Tehran into a fight between Iran and the West and Iran and Britain. But at the same time, he said that they, they, uh, he, they want to have a normal relation with the Islamic regime to resolve the nuclear issue. What's your response to that? You know, the thing is that in, in a speech coming yesterday, directly attacked Britain, directly, with the name and everything. And uh, it's some sort of re uh, response to that, I think, but what Miliband today said. And the other thing that they are referring, they keep saying that is our issue is nuclear project of Iran. That's, that's, that, that's our concern. And so they say that in order to be, now we are neutral. We don't know what's going on. We wait, see what happens. That's what Obama said a few days ago. But now Senate had a resolution, I think, which is not, yeah, which is not formally the position of the government, of course. But still, it means a lot. Uh, the U.S. Congress said that uh, we are condemning that sort of killing people, that sort of thing, somehow supporting people. And the right of people uh, and to demonstrate. Right of people to demonstrate and that yes. sort of thing, which is very different than just we are uh, watching and see what happened. That was the previous position. I think it, it, that basically all the Western governments, they prefer Musavi, of course, hmm. because they think he's more moderate. They can deal with him with the nuclear issue and many other issues and they see that what's happening in the street is uh, supporting Musavi and is a better chance for Musavi to uh, to become the pres next president but at the same time the problem is that uh, they, they are worried about that uh, the control uh, it cannot con nobody ca uh, could control what's happening the even region. Musavi which I think they are right yes. I don't think Musavi or anybody else can Control. control that situation, that crowd that's on the street. So, but anyway, that's, that's uh, 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 the, the problem that they have. In the one hand, they want somehow get rid of Ahmadinejad and have Musavi as president of Iran. On the other hand, they want to do it very fast before that situation getting worse in their view, more chaos in, in Iran. So, uh, I think that's the politics they are following now. What about the, uh, the fact that Miliband said um, and the highlighting the question of nuclear issue. Do you think that nuclear okay. issue? If he wants, issues, yeah, of course. If it, uh, solving the nuclear uh, issue is not is not up to Musavi or Ahmadinejad or having that Islamic Republic there. If really you want to uh, to solve that problem, you have to uh, support the movement that is, is in Iran now. Because when you get rid of Islamic Republic altogether, then is the very good. A situation, opportunity to solve not only nuclear issue, but Islamist terrorism all over the world, in Middle East especially. So I think every government or every organization, every party who want to solve that problems like nuclear issue or like uh, Islamic terrorism should support the movement of, uh, movement of people that's going on already in Iran. Hamid Abay, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, today uh, we are, will be following the news that's coming out of Iran. As I said earlier, you can follow the news on that Worker Communist Party of Iran blog, which is updated on, day, uh, on minute by minute, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll be following the events. And thank you very much, Hamid Abay, for being here. Thank you. Thank you.